Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. Today we have Conflict 47 German Army Starter Set brought to you by Warlord Games. For more information, go to warlordgames.com. This is a weird World War II wargaming rules brought to you by Bolt Action. Conflict 47. In March 1947, Europe is slowly emerging from the worst winter in living memory. Germany's resurgent military prepares to capitalize on the success of late 1946, where its highly trained and motivated forces repelled and drove back Allied efforts to invade their country. Spearheading this resurgence are the awesome results of Germany's Rift Tech program. Mighty Armored Walkers, Heavily Armored Infantry, and the sinister products of their Genetic Enhancement Division. New Rift Tech-inspired heavy weapons are now mounted on the trusty P uh, Panzer IV hull weaponry that can twist ga gravity itself. The spine light Panzer Mech angle and armed with a fearful punch to see off enemy light armor and the horrific Toten Corpse animated Fallen Warriors, each with a program reason to help uh, to keep on fighting. With Germany safe for the time being, it's now time to drive the Allied and Soviet forces back to their homelands. Europe belongs to the Reich. The war is far from over. As the Fuhrer tells us, strength lies not in defense, but attack. This Conflict 47 star set contains everything you need to push the Allies and Soviets out of Europe and deliver the Thousand Year Reich. Here's stuff that's included in it. All these figures. Yes, assembly is required. As it says up here, models supplied unpainted and unassembled. Base paint, glue, and scenery not including contents may vary from those shown. And here's your table of contents. Again, this was released by Warlord Games. You see the price. I did not pay that much, but that's the retail value of this box set. Okay, a little bit of information. Again, for more information about this product, go to warlordgames.com. All right. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. Now, I'm not going to go through this whole thing here, honestly, but they give you a mini edition of the Conflict 47 Core Rulebook, which is right here. Nice, thick mini rulebook. So if we open it up real quick, flip through it, you got a table of contents, the introduction, you got the background, basic supplies, conventions of war, units, turn, the turn, orders, movement, shooting, you got weapons, close quarters, reactions, headquarters and command units, unit special rules, artillery, vehicles, buildings, playing a game of Conflict 47, force selection. United States, Great Britain and the Commonwealth, the Soviet Union, rule summary and credits. There's your introduction. Again, that's a mini edition of the Conflict 47 rule right there included in this box set. You also have a play sheet which tells you the turn sequence, the order phase, Turn and end phase, orders, fire, advance, run, ambush, rally, down, foobar, friendly fire, panic, troop quality and morale, movement, reserve moves, shooting, hit modifiers, damage values, troops and soft skin targets, what, you're, what you have to roll in the die, armor targets, he shots, H-E shots, shouting at, uh, shooting at vehicles. You have damage results on armored targets and you have weapon charts. Heavy weapons, small arms, close quarters, infantry versus infantry, terrain table, infantry versus vehicles, and all the stuff that you need to know. You have a, you have a measuring ruler there as well if you want to cut that out. And another additional ruler on this side if you want to cut that out. But that's also included in our box here. And it's the covering. Of course, you're going to have Warlord Games hawking the other products that they have. Historical and sci-fi tabletop war games. So that's war gaming. A little background information about that. Hail Caesar, Pike and Shot. Uh, Black 
powder, Antares, and of course, Judge Dread, which we did an unboxing for this as well earlier. And more information about Warlord Games. Again, for more information about Bolt Action, go to boltaction.com or warlordgames.com. You'll find out all the information about that. So put that down here. Not to also mention this here. Tells you how to look everything up and resin kits because there are resin parts in here. So I'll throw that down here as well. Do your decals for your vehicles. So I'm just going by what I see in the box. I'm just pulling it right out. So you got decals. You have your information as to how to uh, build and what's on the sprues. German Grenadiers. The numbers are here and you can find them right here for your pieces. So it's listed one through number 60. And this back side here. Different ways that you can set them up and tells you what they're used for. I put the decals on and everything else like that. More information again, go to warlordgames.com. So I'll put that over here. That's one of your rules books. You also get your game specific dice and you get some mini uh, D6s. So let's take a look at these real quick. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six of these die. It says rally, ambush, run, fire, advance and down so those are the, that. and you have mini dice when i say mini i do mean so this is a regular d size of a d6 maybe it's even a little smaller but this tells you how many the, the d6s are okay you get six of those so you get a total of 12 dice and they come in a fun little bag there they are tokens again you need a pair of clippers you clip it off here clip it off there and you're good to go looks like these are fire markers very cool Again, just going by what's in the box, coming pulling it straight out. So that's parts for a tank. Are the parts for the tank you're going to build? Again, you have some more stuff for the tank. You have the tank commander himself. Just a little metal bit. You've got all kinds of bases for your troops. Troops are 25 or 28 millimeter in size. So there you go, you got bases for them. Those are your grenadiers and other troopers. Again, so if we look at this kind of quickly, up top you've got your different kinds of heads that you can put on your characters. You got weapons you can put in their hands, you got their arms, you've got more weapons, again, arms for the weapons, you have the actual bodies for the soldiers. So again, you have to build all these, which is part of the hobby. Playing miniature games. Get another sprue. Kind of your grenadiers. General gist of what you're getting.
So you get two more of those as well. So you get to build a whole bunch of guys. Just put those down here. And I found some more bases for more troops. Okay. Another very large base. Things wrap up like this. These are your resin pieces. Take it out of there. Exceptionally high detail. That is very, very cool. Put that on the head of your tank or something. Right. And that is your piece for that. And we'll roll that back up in what we had here. I came in this. And then we have some additional troops right here. These look like the zombie troops. Okay, those are in there pretty good, so I don't want to cut the... Oh, I got it open, hold on. There we go. As always, you've got your wonderful piece of foam in there to protect them. Again, the different zombie troops. Got some flash on them, you just cut that off. That's not a big deal, that comes right off. That's one of the troops. Again, if you look at them closely, really have a lot of detail to them. Again, this is what you call a Weird War II type of game. So, again, you're going to have zombies and things of that nature in it. Again, this stuff here, this flashing from the mold, you can pull it. You can just pull it right off, bend it right off. You can clip it right there. You do it a bunch of different ways. As you can see, it easily bends. So it's very easily taken off. That's another guy. Then another guy. Another guy. Again, highly detailed. Throw them on a base and they're ready to go. Hit them with a little bit of primer. Do some dry brushing on them and you're good to go. Again, all this flashing comes right off. You just, just basically cut it, clip it, and it comes, clip it, and it comes right off. Same thing as the bottom here. Just, again, take a little, just either clip it and once you clip it, you get a little emery board, you could just file that down and you're good to go. And last but not least. So you get a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zombie type troopers. Can you get that group shot of them? And there they are. Nicely kept in a nice plastic container. So there they are. Top here over here. And last but not least, you have your parts to 
the, the walker. So again, with everything that's on here, oh, you got another base here too. Oh, oh, that's just a piece of paper. So before I go on to show you this real quick, I'll show you the sides of the box. Now that we got it completely empty, I can actually lift it and show it to you. So on the side, it shows you how to put together instructions of how to put together the tank, where that piece goes. Again, showed you that, that's uh, right there. Gives you more information about the other games, more information about other things you can pick up. Again, tells you how to put together each of your, your spine light Panzer mech. You have your Panzer 4-10. Uh, Again, tells you how to put all the little things on there. So this is here, the spine light Panzer mech. Okay, can I can pop that open. Again, nice little piece there. There's the head of the mech. Nope, that's the body. Body holds it, that goes in there. So there's your body. Legs go down here. The top. Again, really nice high detail. This is where the, the guns go into, and that goes right in there like that. Boom. Okay, there it goes. Again, if this stuff, again, this part, the flashing that's on there, again, you can take it, easily take a little file and just file that down. And it'll fit in there absolutely perfect. Fit in there perfectly. You don't even have to do it if you don't want to. And then you have your... These are, these go into the holes that are here. Again, you cut those off and you put them right in. And then again, you have the legs for the robot. You get four of those. pop that open again I'll put that back in there real quick put that stuff in there so we don't lose anything put that back in there and all this closed up very nicely like I said and there are all your little pieces that go right in there So there you have it. That is everything that's included. So what can you build? So again, as it says here, let's go back to here real quick. So you got your, you got your rule book we went through. You have the one spine light Panzer mech, the resin and metal pieces, which is this right here. You had your 24 grenadiers, which are the plastic ones, which are you build them, they're right here. You have your eight token core, which are your zombie type characters, which are right here and it shows you how they're all painted up right there. All right, your pin markers, six side dice, your six order dice, which you have right over here in the bag here. The pin markers are down here are the red ones. And that's everything that's included. And that concludes this unboxing of, so again, you get a whole mess of a lot of stuff in here. And this is what's included in your bolt action, weird World War II war game rules for Conflict 47. And you're talking the German army starter set and has all these different items that are, again, that you can create and build inside. It's brought to you by Warlord Games. For more information, go to warlordgames.com. Again, it's to be used for Conflict 47, a bolt action game. So, as always, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. It's truly appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, you can always give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. You could also hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.